What would you do if you were Kim Jong-un? My mom had this idea that she used to like to talk about, and she used to call it Dictator's Island. There is a big problem that dictators have, which is they're in absolute power. And while they have absolute power, they're super rich and they can do whatever they want. And they also end up being pretty terrible to their citizens. Now, if, they, if there's some sort of revolution rising up, if there's some group of people who want to form a new democratic republic or democracy, the dictator is at odds with that, regardless of whether or not he wants it, because if they do come up and win, they're going to probably kill that dictator. They're not going to treat him nicely. And even if he stepped down gracefully, whoever comes up next is probably not going to be too nice to him, unless the person who comes up next is also a dictator. And if they do step down, they might actually be charged by the, the community, the world as a whole, as some sort of war criminal, because most of these dictators ended up doing some terrible death camp type stuff. So my mom's solution was, you need to give dictators the option to go to this island, which she called Dictator's Island, where they can live out the rest of their days and remain you know, rich, maybe not rich beyond belief, but you know, able to never work again, able to have all the food they want, able to do whatever they want, as a way, as a method, as an incentive for them to step down gracefully without having to have a bloody coup or bloody revolution. Now that might sound really weird, but people do follow incentives and dictators generally have an incentive to just hold on to power regardless of anything else because the other option is just terrible. And of course, Korean people know this oh too well with North Korean threats and problems. And Kim Jong-un is somebody who's kind of facing the same idea. I think Kim Jong-un has a really different situation than his grandfather and his father before him because when his grandfather came to power, he could see that the whole his whole lifespan could be North Korea remaining North Korea. During his whole life, he got backing from the USSR. I think maybe towards the end, the USSR had broken up, so he didn't have backing then. But during his whole life, he could just remain as North Korea, a communist little island that doesn't talk to or, or interact with the rest of the world. And I think even Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un's father, had the same situation. He came to power when he was like 53, and he, you know, maybe he had 20 years left to live, and he's thinking, hey, I'm just going to ride this out keep the status quo and everything will be all right. Kim Jong-un has a very different situation. Kim Jong-un came to power when he's very young. He's gonna be around for another 30, 40, 50 years and he knows that. And he knows that by the time he, he dies, if he wants to remain the dictator of this country, he's gonna have to change North Korea in a big way. And he's also in a different position because he's already got the nuclear weapons. He already has the weapons he needs to stave off the rest of the world from like an actual attack or invasion. So he's in this very different situation. And it's my theory, it's my thought that, you know, he probably, he doesn't want to lose power. Like I said, that there's a reason my mom came up with Dictator's Island because a dictator doesn't want to lose power because his other options are pretty bad. But he probably does know that he needs to be at least somewhat capitalist. He needs to at least have some trade with other countries if he wants his country to develop at all. It's my thought that he probably wants to be something similar to China. He probably wants North Korea to become some sort of mini China and that they still have capitalism going on so they get the benefits of that. But he can remain dictator and have tight government control. And China probably wants that too, actually, because they don't want an American ally like South Korea right on their border. Which brings me to this question. What would you do if you were Kim Jong-un? Is Kim Jong-un a rational actor? Is he doing what's in best interest for himself and maybe even somewhat for his country? Yes, he does all the, rattle, the saber rattling that his, his father and grandfather may have done. But he's also, is he also trying to change into a semi-quasi-capitalist socialist state? And it's hard to see. And whenever he does something bad, we'll go, what an asshole, what a terrible guy. And it's not good that he does bad things, but he has to remain in power. I'm sure if he took power and then that day stood up and said, by the way, we're gonna unify with the South and we're going to take on their government. I'm gonna step down from power. I'm sure there are other people who are high up in the North Korean government who would have maybe thrown a coup. I mean, as a dictator, you're always, that, that's gotta be the number one fear in your mind is, are the other people who are in power who are not me gonna overthrow me and, and mess everything up? And so whenever I see something that Kim Jong-un does, I always think that is not a crazy action. When Trump says something like, oh, we're going to bomb North Korea, he says, 
uh, we're going to bomb you back. Seems like it's something he has to do. I mean, what's his other option? Oops, sorry, America, we're scared. He can't really do that. Whenever he wants to meet with uh, South Korea and he, and he does it, that's, I think, part of his path to becoming the next China. So in my head, he's in a very different situation than his father and his grandfather. And at the same time, I think he's done some pretty rational acts. And that brings me to the question of, you know, what would I do if I were Kim Jong-un? Would I have done many different things than what he's done? And that brings me to my final question is, what would you, the viewer of this video, do if you were Kim Jong-un? So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate my video, give it a thumbs down. If you love me or hate me, hit the subscribe button. Remember to leave lots of comments. I suggest checking out my website, parkgayday.com, where I have all of my scripts, and you can join my email list and keep up with everything that I'm updating as I go along. And of course, the most important thing of all, have a super awesome day. Changhua and Kim Yuri, I can make this video. You can make this video.